Well, I made it to Denver. I got my slave working. <laughs> That's Tim, the owner of the turbine. And uh, we're going to try to balance the blades in the morning because there is quite a breeze out here. But uh, he's getting it all together. It's a good learning experience to know your turbine. And if you don't, and you leave it up to other people to show you how, well, it's your own fault. Then you can't fix it yourself. Yeah, and then you can't fix it yourself. But yeah, she's got the 9.4 blades. Two. Or 9.2? 9 9 yeah, I'm pretty sure they're 9.2s. Okay. But uh, get around here. Give you guys a look-see. And uh, he's going to work on that tomorrow. I've got to head back. Getting them balanced. Oh, ooh, took a dip there. But that's what she looks like. I got a stator protector that's going to go on the, uh, the top part. And I'll do a video on that real quick. So I'll be back. Well, there she is. She's up. We've got it all locked down, so that's why it's not spinning yet. But uh, there it is, the green mean machine. And uh, we got that furling tail we're going to be testing out. So it'll be a few times coming down, up and down with the turbine. So in the distance, we've got the Thermodyne running over there. The winds are about probably 5 to 10 on the gust. But yeah, I used, uh, let you know I improvised and re reused stuff. So your, uh, the uh, stator protector that I have uh, around it, I used two Thermodyne tails, steel tails, to form it and make it. But otherwise, there she be. Tim, we uh, rent, wenched it up uh, from the Jeep, his brother's Jeep. And he's getting all the guys tightened down. But uh, he's gonna probably have to add some more guys to it to stiffen her up a little more. She's got some serious wins here, people. But yeah, there it goes. Sorry about the jumping around. But this is it. And I got, uh, I got another turbine I gotta deliver to somebody. So hopefully that'll go just as good as this one. We had to balance the blades outside, so we got this breeze trying to figure out how to do it. Look at that mountain range there, people. <laughs> there she is, kicking it. Of course we had that whistling, so we're gonna have to take and change the pitch on the blade set a little bit to get rid of that whistling. But otherwise, she's tracking the wind. And my last uh, turbine I sold, it uh, the guy complained said it wasn't tracking the wind, that the tail fin wasn't big enough. B.S. But uh, I'm gonna go back over here, see if Tim's got it back on there, Tim. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's show the low wind because we're getting kind of low. Trying to get the numbers to come in. It's, it or there, yeah. So there you go. Once we get the load on it, it'll be different, but it won't be that much of a difference. We got it free spinning right now. You can see the production being made. We have low winds, probably about a 10 at the most. I got a tail fin that needs more bolts. You hear a tinning noise. Well, I, I forgot the bolts, of course. <laughs> but it does the whistle. And that's because of the blades. And the blades are making that whistle noise. Because the pitch isn't correct on the blade. We, were gonna, we can fix that by putting washers to tilt the position of the blade. But if you hear it, that's the blades, and you know your turbine. What do you got? There we go. 69, 72. 
Because I'm on ramp up once. Oh, yeah, that's fine, dude. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, got the install done on the pole part of it. But, man, I'll tell you, that's a turbine. I'm going through the Colorado mountains right now. I delivered Tim his wind turbine. So, that's where I was heading when I said in the beginning of the video. But I just love the mountains. Sorry if the windshield's kind of dirty, but it's been raining up here. Um, the winds, man, I'll tell you, unbelievable out of his place. And we were seeing 90 open volts off of that turbine. So we're going to see some power, big power out of it. So people, GPS signal lost. Yep, see, I'm in the mountains, so <laughs> I lose that. I'm trying to get back to where I was staying in the motel, of course. But I'm going to end it now. But it, it's just so beautiful up here. I mean, I just love this mountain range. All right, have a good one.